Hello and welcome to this tutorial of uh, GGE, Grogus Game Engine. In this tutorial we will be uh, drawing actual 3D to the scene and I'll show you how it works. For this tutorial we will be building it on top of the previous tutorial. Uh, the previous tutorial you can see that as the basic application of uh, uh, Grogus game engine uh, as it defines the basics minus the text object so if you just remove that you'll be ready to move on with this one alright so the first thing we have to do is to include the interface class for 3D models um, and that class is as follow if you did not follow us on the last um, tutorial then the interface classes are like a bridge to the real object on the graphics thread so um, uh, the you're actually working in a multi-threaded environment without you actually having to work with any thread security Well, the object we've created here uh, needs a 3D model to render, uh, preferably a cube, as we named it like that. Um, I've sheeted now and already created one, which is placed in the project uh, directory of the solution in the tutorial. Uh, you can use any 3D modeling program to generate these because it's pretty basic, so all of them supports it. It looks like this, and um, I used Blender for instance, as you can see here. Another thing to remember is to triangulate your uh, models before rendering, uh, before exporting it, so uh, the engine can read it properly. This will be changed in the future, so the engine triangulates for you. All right. Uh, I will be introducing resource managers now so that we can ink uh, load the resource that's needed for the object to actually render the cube. Uh, so the resource manager we will be working with right now is the model manager. Uh, it's every mo uh, resource manager is a uh, singleton so they're always available so we're gonna get th uh, this uh, model manager uh, get a model from it so we in here we put the path which for us is cube dot object uh, and f this function will return a resource handle for us specifically the model handle so let's call it cube object a uh, cube model there we go uh, the thing is with resource uh, handles is that they are to be seen as constant so do not uh, change anything this is just for this version of um, GGE this is gonna be changed uh, in a later version it will all be that they're always constant and in order to um, uh, modify the resources you have to lock them in order to get a non-constant version this is because of uh, they are used in the graphics thread uh, constantly so if you change them while they're being drawn the entire thing might even crash alright 
but you don't have to think about it right now. Set model, and you see it wants a model handle, so you give it cube model, and then we have my object point enable render. But if we try and uh, run this application now, nothing will be shown because the camera is currently located inside the cube because they're both placed uh, on position zero 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 and in the engine uh, the back face is always cooled uh, on objects uh, faces so um, nothing will be, s be shown so we have to move our camera uh, and we can get a hold of it through the interface class context get camera uh, and here's another interface class le which let us manipulate the camera on the graphics thread so let's move it backwards and if we run this now the camera uh, will have been moved and the cube is shown there we go but it just looked like a four uh, like a quad right now so we're gonna rotate it in order to rotate it we'll first have to create a little variable here called my rotation initiate it to zero and in update we will my rotation plus equal uh, delta divided by taus a thousand then in my object set rotation we we'll rotate it around x and y oh oh uh, my now let's rotate her around uh, all axes. There you go. And let's run it. Now we can clearly see that this is a cube that we're rotating in space around its own origin since I've introduced uh, two new unknown classes here I'm gonna explain them too for you uh, the first is the context which is um, the drawing context of the graphics thread so like for instance in our case it's the um, window that we draw into and then every context of course has its own camera so uh, the with the context we can set some specific uh, variables like uh, enable debug output we can set that to true and so when we run we will see uh, some debug output uh, being drawn up in the left corner which is the frames per second and how many messages uh, we are sending per frame and then we can also set it to enable wireframe that will force every model to be rendered with a wireframe instead As you can see, every model is triangulated, so a cube actually consists of several triangles instead of cube um, quads. And that was everything for this tutorial. I hope it was learningful, and see you on the next one.